Welcome to Maza TV News. My name is Dixie Nodala. I'm a Congolese national who lives in London. This evening I'm going to talk to you about the Congo Brazzaville. Yesterday, 4th of March, Sunday 4th of March 2012, a big blast was heard in Brazzaville in the morning when an army barrack went on fire and took life of 200 people and 1,500 people were wounded. I am shocked as a Congolese national who lives abroad. I am disappointed of what went wrong. What really happened yesterday really shocked the world. People from America, from Canada, in London, people thought it was a war. But when we heard it was a blast, which went because of ammunition which went on fire we got very very disappointed right now the situation is chaotic in Brazzaville people need help people need lots of help people are displaced people do not have anywhere to go and eat people have lost their lives families do not have places to go and sleep it's up to us, the Congolese people, those who are part of the diaspora, those who live in Europe, across the world, to help those who are back home. The Congo needs your help. This afternoon we've met with C. Abina, who is the president of the Abina Foundation. He has instructed me with other, other people to unite and help those who are back home. We do not have medication. We do not have food. Please, brothers and sisters, dear Congolese, it doesn't matter even if you're from the north, from the south, from the east, or from the west. Today, it's a nation who's crying. Today, many of us have lost families. Some of us have lost friends. Some of us have lost relatives. It's really important now to unite and help those who are stranded. If you have anything, medication, what people need now, it's medication, food, anything else that you may even money that you may give. Please, this is the time now of all of us to unite. Those in America, in Canada, Malaysia, Indonesia, South Pacific, wherever you are, as long as you're Congolese national or related to somebody in the Congo, please, this is an SOS message. We need help. We definitely need help. Right now, people are dying in hospitals because it's so chaotic that the hospital was not prepared to this level of emergency. People have run out of beds. The hospital does not have enough beds, enough medication to treat the windows, to, to, to treat those who are wounded. So right now, I will be in touch with the British Red Cross and all the Catholic churches, the Church of England as well, to help my community. It's my duty as a Congolese national. It is my own interest to help those who are stranded. I cannot sleep without thinking of them. I cannot sleep without thinking of my people. Let's all unite. One country together has one. Keep watching Maza TV. Thank you.